Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Wells Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now that being said, this being a general reading, it might not resonate with uh, with everybody. And so really what you must do is take whatever resonates with you and just leave the rest of it aside. So, you know, if it doesn't fit, it doesn't feel well, you're not connecting, that's okay. It happens. There are days like that and that's all right. Just toss it aside. It'll be good for somebody else or for another time. Um, if you do, if you would like to have your own personal reading, you're searching for guidance for maybe a reading about your life in general, what's going to be happening or what happened into the past or your relationship, whatever it is, you can contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and um, I will be pleased to assist you in finding your answers. So that being said, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it would be greatly appreciated. So with no further ado, let me begin this reading and explain to you what it is I have done. So what I have done here is first of all, this reading is dedicated to the sign of Capricorn. Secondly, I have channeled, okay, I'm working with the universe. I have channeled the universe three different messages for you, okay? And uh, these messages are going to be revealing and sending you true love. So, what is true love from the point of view of the universe? It's about bringing the joy, the love, the romance into your life. It's about let's learn about what you truly need in a relationship, what you long for, and how to attract it into your life as you become more emotionally and spiritually fulfilled. That is true love coming from the universe. So let's go see the messages that I can transmit to you from the universe. I have self-respect. I have boundaries. And I have the rainbow reviver. So let's begin with self-respect. There is no need to compromise your self-respect for love or security. Whether you are in a relationship or not, self-respect is the key to how other people perceive and treat you. Sometimes self-respect may seem to take you down a lonely road, but even that part of the journey is really worthwhile. If you aren't willing to speak up for what you believe in, walk away from situations that are damaging to you and act from your own integrity, how can anyone else truly know or care for you? At times, it's tempting to compromise your self-respect for security or survival. As a short-term measure, this may be necessary while you get your life in order, but as a long-term measure, this is unhealthy for you, your heart and your soul. You have received this message today because the universe would like you to have a look at the ways that you have compromised yourself in the past, in the present, in order to secure or maintain a relationship. Now, your real life and your spiritual growth are not about taking the convenient path. In fact, love and spiritual growth often demand that we face challenging situations in order to confirm our commitment to what we say that we really, really want. Most people breach their own integrity and compromise their self-respect well, from time to time. Living a fulfilling life is not about being perfect. It's about acknowledging what is and choosing a healthier course of action from now on. When you live from your truth, a life of integrity and self-respect are the natural outcomes and your angels, your spirit guides and the entire universe are standing by to help you attain that level of quality and of fulfillment. You need to ask for their help and act on their guidance and the urging of your own intuition, your gut and your heart. That was your message from the universe on self-respect. Let's move on over to your boundaries. A clear and healthy sense of self is really a great foundation for love to begin with. Most people understand the concept of healthy boundaries, but aren't always really sure about how to put them into practice. Boundaries could be described as simply having a clear and healthy sense of self. 
of who you are, what makes you tick, and what affects you both positively and negatively. A common example of unhealthy boundaries is the apparent inability to say no when feeling pressured by a prospective new or existing partner into doing or behaving in a way that isn't in harmony with your truth. For example, if you love the ocean and you need to walk along the beach, you know, every day to maintain emotional balance, you can invite your partner to join you or to go along or maybe even go alone. But you must not let this important activity fade from your life. There can be many gray areas in life between reasonable compromise and compromising your healthy boundaries. So each person really is unique and each situation is different. The most important thing is to make your boundaries and preferences clear early on in the relationship or your partner may feel annoyed and resentful when you bring it up months or even years down the track. In an existing relationship, it's important to communicate your feelings, your needs, your preferences by owning them yourself. So you can say, I need time for myself every once in a while. So from now on, I'm going to go onto the beach once a week on my own. And this is much more constructive than you never want to go to the beach. It's unpleasant. It's impossible to drag you down there and you have ruined that pleasure for me and I'm going to get it back. That's not a very nice way to say it now, is it? So you have drawn this card today because it's time for you to look at the ways that you have set your personal boundaries in the past as well as your personal boundaries right now into the present. Take a gentle look at what these boundaries have created for you in your life so far and resolve to reset them where necessary. Ask your angels and your guides to support you in communicating more lovingly and clearly from now on. We're going to move to our final message from the universe and this is the, rain the Rainbow Reviver. Feeling good from the inside out is important no matter what is happening in your personal life. So we all need a little lift from time to time and a rainbow reviver is a great way to put a smile on your face. When you're single, the rainbow can help you feel more positive and lovable. And if you're in a relationship, the challenges of life have worn you down a little bit. And the rainbow is going to brighten it all up and it's going to brighten your day. So you can give yourself a rainbow reviver anytime and it only takes a few minutes. First, take a nice deep breath, exhale fully and get present into your body and the moment. Then imagine a rainbow with its seven rich luminous colors. Picture the rainbow flowing towards you and streaming into your own crown chakra at the top of your head filling you up until you overflow, allowing it to wash over the surface of you as well. And then affirm to yourself, the rainbow is cleansing, uplifting and energizing, and I feel peaceful, positive and happy. You have received this message today because your angels and your spirit guides would like you to use this simple technique whenever you need a cosmic hug. They even suggest that you put a picture of a rainbow on your mobile phone, computer, or in your wallet to remind you of this lovely technique because life gets really, really busy and it's easy to forget that help is really right there at hand. Drink in the soothing, healing, and upleaving, uplifting energy of the rainbow as often as you like because you simply can't overdo it. So this, my dear friends, Capricorn, is the ending of your beautiful reading of true love, of love and romance into your journey. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope you were able to resonate. I do wish you a fantastic day. Many, many blessings. Please don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for any following readings. If you need a reading, you can contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. Have yourself a fantastic day. Many blessings. I will see you soon.